Now, the Olympics offer a chance for athletes worldwide to get together. Bob Sledder, Yasmin Thantlato, Victorian, is competing as Jamaica's first monobobber, but she used to represent the USA and here in Beijing. She's competing against her former American teammates, and they are still happy to support each other. Fung Yilei has more. Jamaican bobsleigh athlete Jasmine Finlater, Victorian, and Nick Taylor of Team USA are more than old teammates. Nick still remembers how Jasmine helped him out when he first started in the sport. I can't appreciate her enough. She's amazing. You're She's make amazing. Me cry. It's okay to cry. <laughs> I might cry myself because I'm so proud of her. She was competing for us, went to the Olympics, did amazing, went over to Jamaica and helped build the program. This is her third Olympics. And I, 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 when we first met, I never knew she was capable of this and many amazing things. And she yeah. keeps surprising me year after year. I can't say enough good things Aww. about her. Taylor is married to Jasmine's old roommate and training partner, Elana Mayers, who took silver at the women's monobob race on Monday for Team USA. We have different teams, but it's all one family. Yeah. I was at the finish line screaming, USA, go Alana! <laughs> I was so excited. I mean, her, her run was beautiful, and I was standing there next to my coach, and he's like, he's like, what are you doing? I'm like, go, go, go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> stay, stay. And I was getting so hyped. They had to, like, push me to the side. Um, Jasmine says they've been striving for more opportunities and diversity. And she sees doors now opening wider for more nations and athletes. I think in general, bobsled, we're a family. We're yeah. a community. Even internationally, we all respect each other. We all try to help each other. Like, we're at the Olympic Games, and Nick is helping my team put a sled on the truck. I'm grabbing Alana's bag to, to make sure it's not forgotten. I finished the run, and all of Team USA, Team Austria, um, Team Italy, they gave me a hug, and they were like, we're so proud of you. And I think we just really respect each other because there's only so many of us. Yes. It's not like skiing. Alpine skiing, I think, had 90 athletes yeah. in one race. <laughs> there's like maybe 200 bobsledders in the world. Yeah. <laughs> so most of us are. So we celebrate holidays, birthdays tragedies together um and yeah it's just a family that has a lot of respect and um we like to lift each other up when we can